The Cheche Yara Foundation, in collaboration with Commuse West Africa, successfully concluded a two-day training workshop on child protection for teachers in Koshofer local government and educators in correctional centers in Lagos, Nigeria. The event held on 7th and 8th June 2023 aimed to equip 200 educators and caregivers with best practices in safeguarding children from abuse. The comprehensive workshop provided participants with crucial knowledge, tools and strategies to identify and respond effectively to instances of child abuse. Through interactive sections and expert facilitation, the training empowered educators to recognize different forms of abuse, understand warning signs and implement proper reporting procedures. Child protection is important because these children are always in the hands of educators. And um, most times the children open up to the educators when they are going through any form of abuse. And if the educators are properly guided on how to protect children, there will be less abuse in the society. When a child is being abused, we advise that the child calls our child helpline, which is the 0800 800 801 and when the child calls the child helpline the social worker takes up the case and comes for verification when they verify the case the child the case is being documented at the nearest police station and when it's documented at the nearest police station a police officer is assigned to the social worker who goes and picks up the perpetrator so we are here to educate um, teachers and caregivers in Koshofe, um, local government area of Lagos State, particularly District 2 in Lagos State. And we've, we've selected most teachers. We work with TESCOM to do the t uh, selection of teachers so that everybody, we want to make sure that every teacher in every secondary school or every primary and secondary school in Koshofe local government has an experience of how they can protect the children in their care. And it's why we, are, we organize this event. So each school in Kosher Federal Government has a representative here learning how to protect children from abuse. They've learned different steps. They've learned how to stay safe. They've learned how to respond when children are abused. They've also learned who to report to. Child protection is an ancient long-standing problem which has um, gained the attention of the international, national, state and local communities. The government, um, international donor agencies on the forefront uh, of a high-profile commission to eradicate it. Um, the unique dynamics of child um, sexual abuse is such that um, it's often committed in secrecy with only the uh, victim and the perpetrator as witnesses. And it's a crime that is very difficult to detect. Parents who don't have time to listen or to take care of their children are, are, are guilty of child neglect, which is an offense. And it opens the door for pedophiles because there are no benchmarks or indices to identify a pedophile. Pedophile's strategies include earning the trust and respect of parents. If a child is hungry, they offer food. If a child is lonely, they offer companionship. They are like the wild animals in the safari who will study the children to look for a loophole in that life of that children, fill that loophole to maintain control over the child. Some even blame the child, it's your fault. It can never be a child's fault. And a child is anyone under 18 years of age. It doesn't matter if she's already in the university or she's big or whatever. Every child needs protection, every child is important. Not just our biological children, not just our students, even our domestic staff, they need to be protected.